Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to compare the Apple Pencil second generation to the Huawei M Pencil. I will be talking about the design and I will test for the accuracy as well as the latency. So in terms of design, these two may look rather similar, but there are actually slight differences. The Apple Pencil is almost cylindrical except for this flat surface here which is used to snap to the side of the iPad Pro. Huawei M Pencil is hexagonal but on one particular side here, this is concave that allows it to snap to the side of the MPET Pro, which is convex. Both styluses use magnets to snap to the tablets and the magnets are quite strong. Now, if this is the first time you are attaching the stylus to the side of the tablet, it will ask you to pair the stylus with the tablet using Bluetooth. The batteries on both styluses are not user replaceable. Battery life on the M Pencil is rated at 10 hours and for the Apple Pencil it's somewhere around there. Anyway, when you attach these two pencils to the tablets, they will always stay charged. So battery life is not a problem. Weight of the Apple Pencil is 20 grams and the Huawei M Pencil 14 grams. So the Apple Pencil is noticeably heavier compared to the Huawei M Pencil. Some people prefer to have a heavier stylus, some prefer to have a lighter stylus. And because the weight is lighter, the density of the stylus is also noticeably different. The Apple Pencil has a solid feel to it, whereas the M Pencil, it feels a bit plasticky. Another thing with the Apple Pencil design is with certain apps, you can tap or double tap for shortcuts, such as to toggle between pen and eraser. But with the M Pencil, there's no uh, tapping shortcut. Apple Pencil supports pressure sensitivity and there is tooth sensitivity as well. M Pencil only has pressure sensitivity and no tilt sensitivity. Now Apple did not specify how many pressure levels they support though, but for the M Pencil it's up to slightly over 4000 levels. Both pen tips are made of plastic, they have the same amount of friction, they are smooth and glides along easily on the glass. Both pen tips are replaceable, so you just have to unscrew them. This is how the Apple Pencil tip looks like. And that's the mechanism that's holding the Apple Pencil tip. The official retail price for the tips is 20 US dollars for four from Apple. And for the Huawei M Pencil, you can also unscrew it. And this is how the tip looks like. There's this metal thing that is attached to the plastic tip. And that's the mechanism that's holding the tip. From what I have found out online, the price of a single replacement tip for the M Pencil, it's around US $10. So this is actually more expensive compared to the Apple Pencil tip. The Apple Pencil tip is very firm on the surface. There is absolutely no wobble or moving parts. When tapping the M Pencil on the surface, there is this more plasticky feel. It's not as solid compared to Apple Pencil. And the tip does move slightly because there is this spring-like mechanism. Can you see that? And now let's test for the accuracy. I'm going to draw a straight line and see if there is any wobble with the M Pencil. Let's draw this line slow. I can see slight wobble, but it's not a big deal. So if I draw fast or write fast, I can get straight lines very easily. Now one thing I notice is if I hold the pen vertically like this and write or draw with it, I can get a perfectly straight line. But if I tilt it down like this with my normal handwriting position, I can see some wobble. Let's do the same test with Apple Pencil. So this line, it's very straight. There is micro jitter, but that's from my hand. It's as straight as I can make it to be when writing or drawing really slowly. So this is very good performance, very accurate. 
One thing I noticed when I was testing the M pencil is if I am writing very close to the edge, you can see the pressure sensitivity, it goes wonky. But if I write away from the edge, uh, it's fine. So it looks like the pen tip, it's affected by magnets. Let's test for latency. I'm using Wacom bamboo paper on both tablets to try and make this a fair test. Pay attention to the gap between the pen tip and the line as it appears. Let me do a close up on the iPad Pro. There is a small gap between the pen tip and the line. The gap is bigger here with the M pencil. The latency or input lag may also depend on the apps you use. So now I'm using the default notes app on both the Huawei well, Mate Pad Pro and the iPad Pro. And I'm going to draw long sweeping lines very quickly so that you can see whether or not you are able to detect the gap or the latency. For the iPad Pro, I just can't see the gap between the line and the pen tip, so there is almost no latency, no noticeable latency here. And for the M pencil, I can see the gap, but it's actually a smaller gap compared to the earlier app that I showed you, the gap from Wacom Bamboo Paper. So the performance here with this app is better compared to the earlier app. The gap between the line and the pen tip for the M pencil is about two times that of the Apple pencil. You may think it's a big deal, but actually, unless you are writing big letters and sweeping lines all the time, it's not going to be that noticeable. I mean, it's noticeable, but it's not that noticeable. But more importantly, it's not the irritating type of lag. And now let's do some handwriting test to see how accurately the M pencil can capture my handwriting. And this is the Apple pencil. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left, we have the Huawei Mate Pad Pro and on the right, the iPad Pro. Both styluses, they are able to capture my handwriting quite well. Now, how accurately your handwriting can be captured, it will depend not only on the stylus that you use, but also on the app that you use. So for Wacom Bamboo Paper that I'm using here, it seems like Apple Pencil is slightly more accurate. With the same app on the Huawei Mate Pad Pro and the M Pencil, I can still detect that tiny bit of jitter. That tiny bit of jitter or wobble, it's not that obvious. It's just that when I am writing, I can see that the line, sometimes it deviates slightly from the pen tip. Maybe I am just nitpicking. I'll probably give the M Pencil 4 to 4.5 out of 5 stars in terms of handwriting and note taking performance. For the Apple Pencil, maybe it's 4.5 to 5 out of 5 stars. Palm rejection works quite effectively with both styluses. It's quite rare to see stray strokes or lines. Right to conclude, the Apple Pencil does offer more features and better features. So you can tap on the Apple Pencil for shortcuts. There is pressure as well as tilt sensitivity. In terms of accuracy, both styluses, they are quite accurate, just that Apple Pencil is slightly more accurate. And when it comes to latency, there is less latency with Apple Pencil and the iPad Pro. So yeah. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's helpful. See you guys in the next video. Bye.